Hello and welcome back to E39 Source. This is Ryan Schultz with my 2000 E39 M5. And uh, today we're replacing a couple very easy yet very, very important sensors on this engine uh, known as the MAFs, the MAFs, the Mass Airflow Sensors or Mass Air Meters. There's two of them on this engine. They're in line right here with the air intake system. We've got the one here and then symmetrically on the other side over there. Uh, after time, those sensors get fouled, they get dirty, they don't report. Their job is to report the amount and the quality and the temperature of the air that the engine is ingesting and combusting. So after a while, they're not doing that job efficiently and your engine does not run efficiently. It'll run too rich, it'll run too lean, it won't want to idle. It just won't run right. The issue that I've been troubleshooting is extremely poor idle, but sporadic for some reason. I switched the mass air meters out to these. These are actually from 2003 and 151,000 miles, and they are performing better than my other ones with a fifth of those miles and only three years old. Uh, so something got fouled with those old sensors. I put these ones in, and now I have new ones. Uh, I want to give a big thanks to FCP Euro for helping sponsor this video with these parts. FCP Euro has an incredible selection of OE and OEM components for BMW and multiple other manufacturers. They offer a very unique lifetime warranty. So in the event that five years down the road, eight years down the road, 12 years down the road, these sensors go bad, you order a new set, you send these back, and you are refunded. Nobody else would do that, and that's really cool on these consumable parts. And that's the case with anything that FCP Euro sells, including oil. You can do an oil change, send your old oil back, you'll get new oil every five or 7,000 miles whenever you do it, free of charge. Moving on to the part number for these sensors. Uh, these are the Bosch. Bosch makes the BMW sensors. Do not spend three times the money to buy the BMW ones, just buy the Bosch ones. The Bosch part number is 0280217533, where the BMW part number is 13621433566. Installing the sensors is very easy. We simply need a flat screwdriver. Really, that's the only tool you'll need, but I like to undo the hose clamps with a six millimeter six point socket. It's just a little easier. The screwdriver doesn't slip out when you can use socket and a ratchet. So there's kind of two ways we can go about doing this. Seeing that the sensor is right here, we could remove this piece of hose connecting the sensor to the engine, or we could remove the air box lid. I haven't really decided which way we're gonna go. Maybe we'll do it a different way on each side. Let's start right here. I'll put the six millimeter on this clamp. Loosen that up quite a bit so it's easy to remove. We're also going to loosen up this one here. Then we need to unplug our sensor, which is very easy. There's two little tabs on either side. You depress those tabs towards the center and wiggle it backwards, and you'll see that it pops right off. Now we can move on to removing the hose, which is easier said than done. It does fit pretty tightly on the plenum there. Give it enough elbow grease, it'll come off. Wiggle it this way. Don't fully remove it because the wire that connects to your sensor is clipped into this hose on two little connectors right there. So we'll just kick that out of the way a little bit. Then we go to our flathead screwdriver. There's a clip right here. We loosen that up. There's another one 180 degrees away underneath. We loosen that up and the sensor comes right out. Check your existing sensor to make sure that there's not a rubber gasket on either one of these flanges here. If there is, that will need to be moved to your new sensor. If there's not, that means that it stayed inside the hose and or the airbox lid. Now the part number for the sensors is the same on both sides. So you'll need to order two of the part numbers that I provided earlier. The new sensor comes packaged like this. It's even got some caps on the end to keep things clean. We will remove the caps. And then when you look at the sensor, there's an arrow on it. And see the arrow right there. And that mandates which way the air needs to flow. So you know the engine, the air is going into the engine. So looking at the engine this way, the left sensor, the arrow needs to point to the right, indicating that the air is going into the plenum. Now it's just a matter of putting this one in the same way we took the other one out. I'll start with the air box lid, push it in there, clip, clip. This hose goes back on the MAF like that. We'll rotate it. Make sure that your uh, hose clamp is visible, and then we'll seat it up on the plenum. And then you might want to pull out your gasket here and put that on the actual plenum. It'll probably go on a little easier that way. 
and wiggle, and there we are. We can now tighten down both of those, and don't forget to plug in your new sensor. So there's one down, nice and tight, plugged in, looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side here. We'll speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna do it the same way, that was too easy. We'll note that this one goes the opposite direction. You will not be able to see Bosch and the part number. It'll go this way. So there we are, that's all set. Talk about an easy DIY, we don't even have to get our hands too dirty. If you had any code stored in your computer, go ahead, delete those, clear those, go drive the car, see how it runs, put some miles on it. Should be fantastic now with fresh sensors. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to go ahead and leave those below. And again, thank you to FCP Euro. So I have to film an ending clip here. Uh, right after I finished putting things back together and finished the video, I took the car out for a little drive. And uh, once we got up to warm to temperature, I uh, jumped on it at the top a second, and we did a couple uh, acceleration pulls through a few gears. And holy mackerel, do things feel different. It was unbelievable. It feels like it's putting down about 10 or 20% more power just with sensors. And that's the thing with these cars. You can get in some and you drive them and they feel slow and there's nothing wrong with the engine. It's just these stupid sensors. Camshaft position sensors are the same case. You keep these things healthy, you put fresh ones in, and it brings back every bit of power that this fantastic engine can create. So if you're feeling down on power, if you're feeling anything out of the ordinary, replacing a mass airflow sensor might be your best place to start. Also, I drove it about 40 miles, none of the codes came back that I had, and uh, that's been fantastic. Again, thanks for watching, and we will talk soon.